If you've never seen a multi-needle embroidery machine, get ready to be amazed. And what I have right here behind me is the baby lock array. It is a six needle embroidery machine. Oh my goodness. If you've ever, I like to do to embroidery tile scenes like from OESD and I need a good design. But many times those things have multiple, multiple thread changes. This machine makes that, makes stitching those out so much easier. With six needles, it will automatically change threads and cut and tie off and swap between those six different colors of thread automatically. All you do, push that start button and the machine does all the work for you. You don't have to change cones of thread. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? So you get a lot of things with the array and I'm gonna go over that first before we go over to the machine. So in your inside your array box, there is a little plastic box like this, and it has tools, pre-wound bobbins. It actually has a computer cable if you want to directly hook it up to a computer. All your little discs and needles and, oh, my goodness, so many goodies. That comes with it. It comes with four hoops all the way from the smallest hoop which is two and a quarter by one and 1 1.6 inches. That's the smallest one. From there it goes up to 3.9 by 3.9 or basically a four by four hoop. It also comes with, <clears throat> excuse me, this one, which is basically a five by seven inch hoop right there. That's three. One more. Here's the big hoop. This is a basically a 12 by 8 inch hoop. Oh my goodness, look at that. We could do my face in it. <laughs> and as awesome as that is, there's still more. It also comes with these plastic placement inserts. We've, if you've been to in, into embroidery, you recognize what these are. But guess what? On this machine, you don't really need these because this has a crosshair, built-in crosshair laser precise positioning feature on it that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. It has one of those plastic inserts for all four hoops. It also comes with a printed, this is all the built-in embroidery designs inside of the machine. We're going to go over all of that full color, thread color charts, all that fun stuff. Quick reference guide, instruction, instruction and reference guide. This is your owner's manual. It's a printed out hard copy. But guess what? There's more. And it also comes with what's called a frame. It has two frames with it. And what these do, these attach to the machine, and then you can swap out your different hoops on these frames. It also will use an, uh, what's called the IQ monitoring app. So let's say you start the machine and you run out of a thread color or what it'll do on your mobile device. This is my phone. This is my little dog puffin. But if I touch the IQ monitoring app, as for both Android and Apple, notice this is automatically connected to the array. And if I had something going, it would show my stitch out live as it's going on right there, everybody. Pretty cool. So you can have take your mobile device with you and monitor the progress of your stitch out while you're in another room. Yes, it is wireless, which means as long as your, your mobile device and the array are connected to the same wireless router in your home or studio, you can monitor the actual output of that stitch out as you're going on. It will also automatically download any, any updates to the machine direct from BabyLock, and then you can install them without having to go to their website and download it to a thumb drive and update it that way. Pretty awesome. 
And it does stitch out at a thousand stitches per minute, everybody. And you can adjust that speed either up or down. So we're gonna go over to the machine next and there's, there's tons of other frames you can get for this. What I have installed on the machine right now is my favorite hoop and it's a five by seven magnetic hoop made just for the, the multi-needle embroidery machine. So I'm gonna swap my camera. And yes, it has a full color touch screen, as you can see right here. And there's a, up here at the top of the screen is a built-in holder for your stylus. And all I'm gonna do is just touch that screen. You can see here's that magnetic five by seven hoop. Everybody, I love this hoop, I truly do. Super easy to remove the magnets. There's four of these on it. And once that's removed, you can just raise this up without removing the hoop from the machine and insert new um, fabrics into it. But what's built into the machine, <clears throat> here are some of the designs, six categories under Celebrate. Check this out, a beautiful Christmas wreath. Isn't that pretty? Merry Christmas. And let's check out some others. There's more, more fun stuff like that on here. Here's another little pretty uh, flower bouquet. It's got cardinals in it. We'll close that and we're gonna return. Let's see what's under delicate. There's some beautiful old world cell ships, selling ships on here. Lots of fun stuff, some flower sprays. These type of outline designs, I really love to stitch out and then paint them with, with fabric paint. It's a lot of fun. And under exclusive, now there's also a whole category on florals, beautiful flower sprays. Check that one out there. Isn't that pretty? We'll just close that. And of course, there are USB connectors. You can bring in your own designs if you have Pallet 11 software, you can wirelessly connect to this machine and send embroidery designs directly from your computer to the machine without ever touching a USB thumb drive. Under the Home Accent Accents, there's a lot of fun stuff here. Check out this beautiful butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Close that out and we'll return. Under novelty, lots of pretty floral swag designs. There are hearts, just some scroll work. There's a Southwestern mandala, <clears throat> all kinds of fun stuff. And under quilting, yes, you can quilt in the hoop on this machine as well. Here are some beautiful built-in quilting designs. Check this out, isn't that pretty? So yes, you can embroidery, you can quilt on it, you can do anything you, you can imagine that you, the only thing you're limited to is your creativity and your vision as to what you want to do with that. There's still more under the little shamrock icon. There's more embroidery designs. There's 24 designs in that one. It's got Santa, a couple of different Santas on here. Let's get a big closer look at that one. There we go, there's Santa. So much awesome stuff built into your machine. There's enough embroidery designs built into the machine that honestly, you can just start embroidering as soon as you set it up. It is so easy to do. But under that chair block, there are more designs, <clears throat> excuse me. Under that next icon, there's 40 designs just in that one section alone. Let's go back over here to this. If you're, when you're first setting up, if for some reason you want to adjust your tension, and that's easy to do with these little knobs right up here, makes it easy. Those are your tension knobs. But that's a test pattern that you can, you can stitch out to actually just test each one of those um, threads and those needles to make sure the tension is good on all six needles, okay? And this is just another another test uh, stitch out right here. Just a small, small little stitch out. It does have built-in editing as well. So let's do that next. We're gonna return. 
We're going to go into these designs, and we're just going to pick one. Let's do, let's do the Santa and set. Now, right now, I'm in embroidery edit. So I'm in editing mode. I can resize it. I can make it smaller if I wanted to, or larger, either way. I'll just make them a little bit smaller and hit OK. And then I could rotate him 90 degrees at a time, 10 degrees, 1 degree, either right or left. I'm going to reset it to its original and hit OK. What this does here is a very strong feature that is shared with both the Altair, the Meridian, and the Solaris. This is called a color visualizer. We touch this little icon. <clears throat> I can, there are the six colors that are programmed for this design. I could go in and change each individual color to a different color if I wanted to. The largest stitch out on this machine is 11 and 7 eighths by 7 and 3 quarters. It's basically an 8 by 12 hoop is the largest hoop. However, by doing a split design through software, you can actually stitch something out to any size you want as a custom size. So <clears throat> what the color visualizer does, check this out. Here's this icon right here. It says color visualizer. And we're going to touch that. And now I can do random vivid, gradient, or soft. What this does, it will, it'll change up the thread colors of any design, whether it's built into the machine or one you bring in from an outside designer. And it will, let's just do the random. What it will do, it will actually change all the thread colors in it in a random manner. And you might actually be able to You'll be able to pick one if you so choose to do so. You can make one your favorite, select that one as a favorite, and then we're going to hit the refresh, and it'll just keep generating new pages of possibilities for you. So let's do another one that's kind of funky. These are definitely funky. Look at that. Not that I would really stitch that out, but if I wanted that, all I did was hit that set button, and hit OK, and now it's went from the traditional colors that the machine that was built into the design to what we just did right there. And that's a really powerful and awesome feature. Another cool feature that I love on these embroidery machines is this one right here. This is a border repeat is what it's called, but you can repeat any design. And let me show you that. First, we are just we're going to go out of this. I'm gonna hit OK. Let's pull up an alf one of the alphabets. There are how many alphabets are there built into this machine? There are 49 different alphabets, monograms, fonts, whatever you want to call them, built into this machine. But I am going to do something here. Let's do this. We're gonna pick a font. ABC. I'm going to select this one and we are going, I'm going to use B and L for baby lock. I'm going to hit the set button. Then what I, what you can do, you can make your own embroidery embellished cloth. So this is a way to do that. So if you've ever seen something like Dooney and Burke or, or Chanel and they all have their little company logos. Well, this is a way you can create a logo out of your initials or your company's initials by hitting this border repeat function key. I can now repeat my B and L by hitting on the plus sign. So if I hit this one, it will add one before it. That will do one after the original. And then I can also repeat it horizontally, but before I do that, I can add space in between those. So check this out. I'm going to put space in between each one of those groups. Then I'm going to add another row to it. 
check it out. And again, and I can put space now in between the rows. I'm going to center it. And now I could actually stitch that out, and that could be go on to a wallet, a phone case, a book cover, anything you wanted to make. You can do your own personalized monograms on fabric and create a really unique, one-of-a-kind gift, either a gift or an item for resale. And that brings me to a topic I want to briefly touch on because I could talk for hours about this. This machine will actually pay for itself. If you are into arts and crafts fairs or art shows, all that fun stuff, or maybe you just want to open an Etsy shop. I have an Etsy shop and I like to make tea towels. It's what I like to do on this. I never have to do any thread change colors. I just put in my tea towel blank hit the start button, walk away. When it's finished, I swap out the next two and just keep on creating my tea towels for my Etsy store. This machine will pay for itself. You can do it just by making tea towels, everybody. I have. We're going to end this one. If you Another really popular thing that people like to make and that you can resell are patches. So you can take any embroidery design and turn it into a patch by just a few clicks of a button. Check it out. Let's go here to our shamrock and this, and I want to pick 020 and set. But first, I want to delete all of my little goodies there. There we go. Now that little, this little thing is like a globe, the earth with a wreath around it. But it's 1.79 by 1.82 inches. And all I have to do to turn that into a patch, I have selected my design and this little icon right here that looks like a shield, check it out, touch it. It actually turns it into an applique, but you can also use it to make patches. Now we hit the set button. And now it has just put, I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to bring it up and what it does it puts a satin stitch all the way around that design. If you stitch that out on duck canvas, you guess what? You have a patch. You just created a patch by clicking on three different icons on that touch screen. See the little scissors right here? If I touch that, that is my scissor trim function on is what that is. And what's great about that, that's how you can turn the cutting of the jump stitches off and on. So that is one of the features that that does. This machine, you can also set it up with an administrative password. Maybe you have little ones in the house. And without that password being put into the machine, when you power it on, you cannot, it will not do anything without an administrative. You don't have to turn that on. But it's just a safety feature. Or if you're in a business setting and you don't want people just coming to the machine and downloading stuff that you've created on it, just put that administrative password on there and they can't get into it that way. So you can also do monograms and buttonholes, more alphabets. There are all those beautiful frames like you see in all of the baby lock embroidery machines. Super duper easy. It has spaces for two different um, thumb drives. And like I said, this is a scissor button here. This is your start button. This button, is what actually threads the needles. So once, once you run your thread path and it's marked on top of the machine, it is super easy to thread everybody. Once you get that down here to the needle, press that button and the machine threads the needle for you. Doesn't get any easier than that. Another really cool thing, I mean, there's so much on this machine, oh my gosh. I know some of you are probably thinking, I'd like to have that, but it looks complicated to use. Well, guess what? It has a built-in operation guide, also known as an owner's manual. However, you do have a printed out one as well, but there is videos built in this machine. They'll show you how to change out the bobbin, how to size and rotate, how to hoop how to use the laser pointer crosshair positioning, how to thread it, how to change a needle. Yes, you can get special hoops to do baseball caps and beanies with. And here's the help screen for that magnetic hoop that I have attached to the machine right now. Those are basic operations under embroidery functions. 
It goes through all the different icons, how to swap thread colors, how to change thread colors, everything you possibly could want to know, how to use this machine. Videos are built into it. So let's do, just pull up one of the videos here. Let's do the bobbin one. Check it out. There it is showing you how to properly load a bobbin into the bobbin case. Everything you need to know to operate this machine is built in through the video tutorial system. And that's awesome. Let's close that out. And under the settings page, there is so much you can do here. Here you can select whichever hoop you want to use, your thread color selectors, Iris, Floriani, Brother, Madeira, Sulky, Robinson Anton, Isocord, Guterman, Pace Setter, all of that. 10 pages of settings to, to set up the machine for special. Here is where you can thread, thread cut and initial systems. Here is where you can adjust your jump stitch, your jump stitches, all of that fun stuff. Acceleration, uh, needle attribute settings, all of that fun stuff. Screensaver, eco mode. So, I mean, there's so much built into this machine. The embroidery crosshair pointing laser. Let's check that out, everybody. So, let's select a design. And then we are going to turn the laser positioning on. I'm going to go to edit end. And this icon here with the crosshair. When I turn that on, here is how you can select a point to align. Let's do the upper left corner, hit the next button, select the alignment direction and next. And now let me swap to a different camera so I can get you a close up view of this. I want you to see this laser. Check out that laser. Can you see that laser? Yep, I see it. There is the positioning laser, that's where the upper left corner would start. That's how you do precise positioning with this machine. It does not get any easier than this. All of that being said, there is so much more to this machine. There's 50 font styles, 24 built-in tutorial videos. Oh my goodness, everybody. It's an amazing machine and I, highly recommend and encourage anyone who's even thinking about it to get this machine.